Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of season 2 for the Football Manager 2014 Chelsea series. Now, for this episode is our first Champions League group stage game of the season. We're taking on Celtic at Stamford Bridge. But before we get into that, we're going to have a look at the overall transfers with the fact that the transfer window has now closed. Um, we've made some new signings. Um, let's get them up. Here we go. We signed to Stegen for £9 million. Um, a very good signing. I'm very happy to have signed him. A very good young goalkeeper. A lot of potential and ability. And for me right now, he's replaced Petr Cech, who has been sold. But I think it was the right decision. Uh, Cech's performance against Swansea was absolutely poor. If you haven't watched that episode, I recommend you go and watch that episode because he was absolutely shocking. We got our asses whooped. And uh, that was kind of a, a factor I took into consideration with selling Petr Cech. But um, we signed Gino Peruzzi for £25 million, um, another good young player who has the ability and the, the potential to um, to do well really, uh, very good stats, he could be my number one choice for right back, so £25 million, a big fee to pay for him, but I'm happy that we've got him. Um, in terms of other players leaving, Todd Kane has joined Blackburn on a season long loan and Van Ginkel has joined Porto on a season long loan. Um, in terms of uh, the Champions League group draw, well this is how the league sits right now. Um, we're currently fourth, no we're currently fifth sorry with nine points. Um, Arsenal in first, Man United second, Man City third, Liverpool fourth. Um, in terms of the Champions League though, um, I think we've got the toughest group in the competition. We'll just uh, view all of the all of the groups. You know, some some tough group games really. Um you no know, some good teams in this competition this season, but we've got Atletico, Celtic and Olympiacos. So we're taking on basically the best team in Scotland for this one. Hopefully we can get a good start to our Champions League campaign and uh get a good win really but the starting line for say is uh, to stay in goal in defence we have Asbel Quater, Dede, Omaru and Peruzzi centre midfield we have Chalba and Kandera with Hazard, Matter and Willian in the attacking midfield Shurrell will start up front for us right prediction Chelsea um, Celtic are gonna really struggle today I can see I can't see them being able to contain Chelsea right okay so uh, the prediction is that we are gonna win this game but strange things have happened in football manager so yeah let's uh hopefully get a good response from the players uh, some well two good responses but yeah hopefully um yeah, if we can keep a clean sheet that would be fantastic um celtic they are a good team but i don't think they're on the same level as we are and we need to get a scoreline which will reflect that um, you know, this is matter though. Gets it to William. Two defenders near him. He's still running with it though. Whipping the cross. Cleared away by Morrison. Eagles collects it. I think we're starting to find our formation and our tactics well now. Um, we're playing better. Our movement's a lot better as well. Oh, sh sugar. Good tackle and Chalba gets out to Hazard. Still Hazard through to the centre. Uh, Shurl isn't 100% match fit for this game, but he's really my best choice right now. Uh, Lukaku is tired, so I've decided to rest him, but this is Asbel Quaita. Hazard, get in. Awesome, within the first 10 minutes, that's what we need. I think uh, you know, if we could get a 3-0 win, that would be a, a, a good result for us. Um, obviously, a win would be a good result for us, but if we can get a win in style, that would be even better. That's Hazard's third goal of the season. Right now, he's been one of the most consistent players I have, um, you know, so far this season. Uh, whether or not Asperquay would have got a penalty from that challenge, not sure. But Hazard was there, one nil. I'm hoping sure we'll be able to play the whole 90 minutes. Um, I have got Drogba on the bench, should we need him, but he's not 100% match fit either right now. So, uh, no, we've got options. Uh, surprisingly, Olympiacos have beaten Atletico 1-0 right now. Um, I think in the group, I'd say that Atletico are 
our main threat. Um, Olympiacos are a good team, but I think good's about it. Uh, this is Campbell. Good tackle by Omaru to Tazbo Quater. Looking for William. Did well to find him. Heads it to the centre. Sure, can't get to it in time though. Morrison to Eagles. Dead A's there. Chips it to Shurrell. Takes a shot. Oh, unlucky. Ah. Damn, that would have been a good goal. But it's Eagles right now with possession for Celtic to Watson. Switches it to Fisher on the right wing. Come on, let's get it. Chalber, lovely interception to Hazard. It's now Chalber again. Now Shurrell. Hazard. We're getting players into the box. Hazard with the cross. Williams there. Love it. Awesome. Whether or not we can, uh, you know, qualify for the knockout stages with a 100% record in the group stage like we did last season, not sure. It would be nice if we can. Don't get me wrong. It would be absolutely fantastic if we can. But... Qualifying as winners of our group is the priority. Um, but going into the second half, we're going to have a 2 0 lead. Um, right. Let's just see if we can try and give the players some belief. Right, there we go. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to do any substitutions just yet. Probably wait till like the 55th, maybe the 60th minute before having a little change around. Um, but yeah, so far Olympiacos is still winning 1-0 against Atletico. AC Milan and Man City currently drawing 2 all. Real Madrid and PSV 1-0 to Madrid. But this is Hazard. Whips it in. Williams there again for 3-0. Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful. A good run from Hazard down the left wing. Um, well, he either had Sherrill or William to aim for. William was there. Clear header. Beautiful. William's currently at a 9.1 rating. Hazard's at an 8.5 rating. So that kind of puts into context on how well uh, both of them are playing. Um, we're going to get Kandira off for Ramirez. We'll get Chalba off for Lampard. And because i got some, up, uh, I think next game is against Liverpool in the Premiership. And I want some key players fit for that game. Um, I'm going to put Shurl on the left. Replacing him for Hazard and then get Drogba on for Hazard. Because then we can give Hazard a bit of a rest so he's 100% for the game against Liverpool. But so far so good. William, I think, is going to get the Man of the Match award. But this is Matter with the corner. Omaru's there. Drogba! Yes! I think that's the first goal of the season as well for Drogba. Very nice. A lot of bodies in the box. Uh, Morrison looked to have got it. Bath's header fell to Trogba and, uh, you know, he knows what to do. Awesome. Well, this is a good uh, a good performance from us so far. We're doing well in, in terms of defence and attack, but this is Shurrell. Running out to the left. Looking for the cross. Mata! Yes! Mata scores with a header, which... Matt don't really score with his header if we're honest. He's more of kind of like the the quick striking player. But good assist from Shurrell. Nice assist from Matt. Uh, uh, Cathro looked to have got a hand to it, but obviously not enough to keep it out. Olympiacos are now winning 2-0 against Atletico. Asperquater with a long throw. Dede's there. Hit the post. Asperquater collects it. Lampard. Drogba. Oh, offside. Damn it. To be honest, I think uh, Lampard's attempt was a shot rather than a pass. 
But so far, 5 nil. I'm happy with this. Um, I'd rather have a 5 nil win than a 6-1 win. Uh, if we keep a clean sheet, that would be fantastic. But this is definitely eh? Omaru with a lovely challenge. As Pukwai gets possession for us. Now to Stegen to Omaru. Taking his time with it. Finds Lampard in the centre. Now Shurrell to Drogba. Three defenders around him. Didn't really stand much of a chance there. But Fisher now wheeling. Finds McGregor. Now De Finesse. Check needs to get... Uh, not check. To Stegen needs to get back in goal. Sorry. This is McGregor. Now Watson. Howarth. I think I said that right. I'm not 100% sure. Parisi with a good challenge for it to go out for a throw. In terms of opportunities, we've definitely created a lot more. Um, our passing's been better. The tackles won. There's been more than they have. Uh, Stegen with the goal kick. Trying to find Perusi and has. Has it back to the Stegen. Now Azpilicueta to Shurrell. To Lampard. We've got Azpilicueta running down the left wing. Now Lampard again to Shurrell. Two defenders near him. Azpilicueta. Looking for the cross. Drogba. Get in. Got to say, a number of players have, uh, have surprised me with how well they're doing in this match, to be honest. Considering the fact that Drogba is lacking match fitness, and he's just scored two goals for us. Awesome. Uh, Shurl, who isn't 100% match fit either, he's having a very good game. Now the fact that we moved him to the attacking left side of the midfield is an 8.7. Yeah, this is, a this is a phenomenal performance, really. Very happy with this. This is sure, although. Referee blows his whistle. A final score. 6 0 win. Um, I'm very happy with that. Delighted, in fact. Um, we'll just. Try and get some good responses from the players that have played well. Awesome. So a very good performance. Uh, William got man of the match at 9.4. But overall, you know, some solid performances. Uh, Drogba came on as a substitute and got an 8.6 rating, which I'm very happy with that. He um, he hasn't appeared for us in the Premiership just yet, but performances like this will uh, make that a possibility. But in terms of how our group currently sits right now, um, we're currently first... Uh, with that win over Celtic, Olympiacos beat Atletico 3-0, so they sit in second. Atletico a third, and Celtic a fourth. But, um, yeah, a great result for us, a great episode. Thank you for watching, guys, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day, and take care.